Hi, I'm Carla Schaefer, NT Speeds Designer, and I will be demonstrating a right angle weave embellished bracelet. For this project, you will need 66 to 75 4 millimeter round beads. In this case, I'm using a check glass round. You will also need an 11-0 seed bead. I'm using black, and you will only need about 10 grams. You will need fire line, and I'm using the gray fire line for the use in my bracelet because of the black seed beads. You will also need a number 10 or a number 12 needle and a pair of snips or a nipper tool. You will also need a shank button. The first thing we need to do is is thread the needle with about six feet of the fire line and then after you've done that we're going to string on 12 of the 11 OC beads to start our first square. And we're going to bring these seed beads down, leaving ourselves about a six to eight inch tail. And then we're going to tie it in a, in a knot or a circle. And we're going to tie a square knot, so we're going to do left over right. And then right over left. You want this to be a taut circle. Make sure you get it good and tight. And we have a circle of 12 seed beads. Once we've got our circle tied and knotted, what we're going to do is we're going to run our needle back through the six first uh, seed beads that we put on. So this is the first six that I put on. Here's my tail. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run my needle through these six. And then you're going to start seeing that it's going to form a square. And the, square's going to, the square will be made up of three seed beads for each side. Okay, now that we've got the thread through the first six seed beads, this is going to be my top of the, my top square, of the square, and this will be the side. And now you're going to pick up nine seed beads, and we're going to form the second square. We're doing our band three squares in width. So now that I've stringed the nine onto the thread, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back through this side, which is these three seed beads here. So it's going to be the last or the second three seed beads I've added. Okay, again, this is my top of three seed beads. This is my side. So I'm going to run my needle back through this last three seed beads added. And then I'm going to run my needle through the next six seed beads, or the first six bead, seed beads added. I've repositioned the, the piece just slightly so you can see it better. This is the side three where the thread is coming out. And now I'm going to run it through these next six seed beads. And then you're going to see that this is going to form a square. And I'll, the way I keep it straight is just think of each side as being three seed beads. And then we'll be ready to start the third square. Okay, you're going to string on another nine seed beads. And then we're going to run our needle back up through the last three. And then all nine that we just strung. This is going to make the last square on our first row. And then pull it. Now you should have three squares. Again, you're going to pick up nine beads, and basically you'll be working in nine beads until you begin an, um, a new row. So we're picked up nine beads again, and then we're going to run our needle back through the last three seed beads. And then I'm going to run it through the first three seed beads that I added.
and actually you will be working with nine seed beads when you start a new road and thus forward we'll be working with six seed beads. What we're doing is we're building the sides of the square and I know it doesn't look much like a square but once it starts tightening up and you get more rows on you see squares. So here you've, you've got three side and the bottom. And what we're doing is we're going to share this three seed beads of this row so we're going to build three seed beads here and three seed beads here to form the other sides of the middle square. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick up six seed beads and we're going to work off the three seed beads of this middle row. So I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to run it through these three seed beads of the bottom of the middle row and pull. Now you can see that we're building the next row. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to take it and we're going to run our needle through these three of the side row. And then I've got it through the side three seed beads and then I'm going to bring the needle through the six that we just added and this is just bringing us back into the position to start the other square. Now we've you can see that we've got back up the side. There we go. Where you can see that we're forming the second row. Okay, now that I've got it through all six seed beads, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring it through the last or the bottom three seed beads of that first square. I've got my tail caught up. You might need to secure your tail so you don't get caught up in your beadwork like I just did. So now I'm back to start the last square. Okay, again, string on six seed beads, and now I'm going to go back through this side three seed beads of the second square. Again, just always remember you're working in threes and we're making a square, so sides. If you think of it that way, it's kind of easier to keep up with. And then I'm going to run, I'm just going to reposition the piece so I can get my needle to run through the top or the bottom of that first square and then back through all six seed beads that we just added. And again, get your tail out of the way. And then all you do is repeat the previous steps, building your rows until you become maybe three quarters of to an inch from the width of your wrist. So all we're going to do is just build these rows until we get to three quarters to one inch of fitting around your wrist. 